Welcome to another video. It is a, another watercolour painting video. So I'm just going to dive right into what I'll be painting. This is what I am going to be painting in the video. Hold on. I'm just going to move this chair out of the way so I can step back. Okay. This is what I am going to be painting. Um, this is the scale. Um, it's been drawn on the iPad and if you're wondering why it's kind of weird looking like it's two pieces taped together. Right, so the sketch I've done on the iPad, this li this actual sketch I've done, just, in, just with like a pencil, a brush in Procreate. I'm not actually sure <laughs> because if I can insert the footage from the iPad into this video, if I can insert the footage of this sketch as a time lapse, I'll put it in the video um, in a second. It will literally be like 30 seconds long. So yeah, I'll put it in the video now. pieces of A4 paper top, um, no, the reason there is two pieces of A3 paper taped together is I only have an A3 printer. I wanted to do this painting A2, I have A2 watercolour paper. So I got this paper from, I can't remember if I actually bought it from a shop or not. No, I think I got it off Amazon actually. Yeah, I've really been enjoying using this paper and also kind of painting on a larger scale with watercolour. So I wanted to do it A2. The sketch was small on the iPad, like, I don't know, maybe like A4 and the iPad screen probably like A5. Um, so in order to get that sketch transferred onto A2 watercolour paper, this is how I did it with this one. I emailed this sketch from the iPad to my desktop computer and then basically split the image in half and printed the top half on A3 because my printer will print A3 and the bottom half of the image on A3 um, and then taped them together so this is now scaled up in A2. I lay, I lie this on top of the, no, hold on I've missed out a step. I stretched the paper. Um, I stretched the watercolour paper first. With it being like bigger scale, I found that you really, there's something in my eye. You need to stretch the watercolour paper, otherwise it gets, it warps and it buckles and it's really annoying and it ruins your um, painting. Oh my God, what is in my eye? The way I do it is I fill my bathtub with water, like a few inches of water, and then submerge the A2 piece of watercolour paper into the water. I think it's about 10 minutes. I'm gonna say it's about 10 minutes, but I'll put like some words on the screen. Yeah, submerge the water, put a timer on, um, have this board 
lay flat. You pick the paper up out of the bathtub, kind of like this, and then you like kind of take it to the board so it's like that, you kind of take it onto the board and then you just lie it onto the board and then it just like sucks down onto the board. And then you use, where is it? And then you use uh, this like gum tape. And that's what goes around the edges to tape the paper onto this wooden board. Then I leave that to dry overnight and then the next day it's all dry. The watercolour paper is taped to the wooden board. So then I need to get the sketch from this onto the watercolour paper. The way I do that is I lay, is it called graphite paper? I think it's called graphite paper. I lay graphite paper onto the watercolour paper and then lay this on top and then trace my own sketch like with um yeah I did it with like a biro so it really like pushes it on and the graphite paper that's sandwiched between this and the watercolour paper um, is what puts the drawing onto the watercolour paper. So yeah, the next part of the video uh, will be the watercolour painting.
Just how you
yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching another watercolour time lapse video. If you liked it, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, maybe subscribe to my channel. If you want to check out prints, there should be some up on the website when I um, put this video on YouTube. I will leave my website and any links in the description box below. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye!